Good morning, it's Sabur, aka Mr. Halal Foodie. Today, we're going to be heading to uh, try some bubble tea uh, in a local bubble tea shop here in uh, Richmond. We're going to take you uh, with us. If you're new to this channel, please. Don't forget to subscribe through each of your subscription, a dinosaur and a unicorn is safe from extension. We just got here, luckily it's not too far away from uh, we, where we live, so the place is called uh, uh, Black Milk Tea. Uh, we're just going to go inside, show you guys uh, the cafe as well as talk to the staff members there, ask about their specialties and what they serve, so stay tuned. Wow, they've got a lot of specialty items, so they got fresh milk, dirty tea, fresh milk, dirty fruit, signature milk tea, uh, tea latte, smoothies, macchiato, fresh fruit tea, sparkling tea, and then you got the topping choices. It's awesome, and then you also, the cool thing is you got the choice of how much sugar you want in there, so as well as ice so for people who don't want their drink too sweet or you don't want too much ice in your drink you also have those options as well which is really neat so we're here at uh, black uh, milk tea we're here with alfie he's gonna tell us a little bit more about uh, the menu items they have as well as the specialty so with that said thank you very much for joining us alfie thank you so we're called white milk tea very easy I wanted to congratulate you guys uh, on the opening and I just saw the menu so you guys have lots of specialty items that I don't want to take too much from you so you can tell us a little bit more about the specialty items and what makes you guys stand out um, in, in the bubble tea space and what different items you guys have compared to other uh, bubble tea shops. So, except for the very one side, because just that, oh, we got the uh, like. Bunch of classic flavor just in case you are very traditional man. <laughs> and we got like many traditional classic fruits. And we promise it's all the fruits we added in the drinks. We are the part of the field, like fresh food every morning. Yeah. And uh, also we um, there are many public stores in my group, right? But Black Milk Tea is another one I see that has sparkling water and sparkling green tea. I'm excited for that because uh, your price is not happy to see it anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's pretty much by all the customers. Especially for in the space. Yeah. And uh, also my friends. Oh, the volcano. The volcano? Yeah, the volcano. The volcano. The volcano. Most of the volcano. Can you tell us a little bit more about the volcano? For example, what food is the process? What flavors or what it is? It's a mix of classics, but it's just a different way of uh, making the sugar sauce like hanging around the cup. Okay. So the real way. Slowly. Uh, yeah, like the yeah. yeah. I noticed, I guess, uh, on the menu, you guys had also the option of food and hot There are some drinks that you can pick whether you want to talk about food. Is that uh, correct? Yeah, except for tea and uh, sparkling water. Yeah, they're thinking of the sugar and uh, ice, the amount of ice, the non-fix. So, we can all 
Da Die beiden haben noch mal. Cool. And I think the other thing I, I noticed on the menu is you guys give the customer the option of how much uh, ice it was, how much sugar uh, they wanted in the drink as well. It's not, for example, we said the same amount, but they wanted to have less sugar and less ice. Is that, is that how it works? Yeah, like even like how much, like how you can probably spring into that. They don't like pre make the bubbles there and you just. Yeah, that I can come between when I started up from the first very start all the raw material. So it's nice to feel longer. Yeah. Yeah. And also, also what we focus on it has to be for two hours. So like we'll just go through the all the things. Yeah. Yeah. Round to be the So here we're gonna make the gorgeous um, passion fruit sparkling water drink and they're gonna show us the step and what's involved to make one. That's the syrup? Sugar. The really neat thing is they use no chemicals, but rather everything is used um, that's used is fresh. So that's neat. They got fresh passion fruit, fresh berries, fresh fruit. You get real flavors. Nothing powdered here. And what is this that you're uh, putting uh, on top? Red dragon fruit. Red dragon fruit, wow. 
pressure It's beautiful. Yeah, after a few minutes later, you can see the color washing. Mm, okay. The bottom will be basically yellow, and then the top will be reddish, purplish. Yeah, purple. The yellow will rise, and the red will begin. Oh, that's interesting. It's really cool. Beautiful. Here we're uh, making a latte. Which flavor is it? Uh, it's a uh, latte. Pearl tea latte, okay. First uh, we add a bunch of pearl mm. at the bottom. We're making one more drink. I think this one's called Comquet Green Tea. Yeah. Uh, this one is our spring tea jelly. It's okay. fresh spring tea. And I love fresh spring tea. So it all smells so good. So this one has a little bit of inside. Mm. Here's this passion fruit one. It's beautiful. As you can see, the bottom is yellow oranges. On top is purple reddish. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our straw in and what we're told we'll mix it so that way all the flavors, the sugar, everything gets mixed together. Okay, let's, let's mix this and let's give it a try. Mmm. Wow. Perfect sweetness. It gets those flavors of the passion fruit, the real fruit. And then that, that hint of sparkly water. This is really, really good. Mm. One of the best I've had. Next one is the uh, Conquest. This is the Conquest Green Tea. So here also, we're just going to give it a stir. It has passion fruit as well as lime. It's different. It's not too sweet. You get that hint of uh, lime, and you don't get the, the flavor of the passion uh, fruit that much. But I think it's because they have balanced it with all the flavors. You get, I think, a hint, but it's not too much to overpower you. And here's the next one. This one was, I think, the uh, black black milk. Is it black milk? Was this the black milk? Uh, no, that's the brown sugar pearl tea latte. Black brown sugar, black Bla brown sugar pearl pearl tea, pearl tea latte. Okay. Pearl tea latte. This is the brown sugar 
pearl tea latte. So here we'll mix it as well. The bottom we got the milk as well as the pearls, the syrup on top beautifully. They have crafted this drink and you see the tea layered. But when you mix it, look, it just looks like uh, chocolate milk. Let's give it a try. The pearls are actually made out of brown sugar, so it's sweet. The tea itself is not sweet. You get that darkness and richness from the tea, a little bit of the smokiness, and then you get the cream from the, the milk they have. Overall, it's really good, so when you drink it, it's not sweet. And then when you chew on those pearls, the pearls are made from brown sugar, so it gives you that sweetness. It's really, really good. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll make awesome videos, more videos gonna be coming soon. And we'd love to hear any comment that you have put in the section, comment section below. Thank you very much.